All right, guys, for this week's golf review, Tim invited us out one afternoon out to Galadia. Uh, he's working out there, so gave us a text in the middle of the day and said, hey, let's go play the back nine at Galadia, teeing off at 7 o'clock. Let's go have some fun. So most of you probably know the name Galadia or, or at least know the golf course. It's quite a pretty cool area, gated neighborhood, 250 acres of golf course, 240 acres of luxury homes. Uh, has a massive clubhouse and, and some really cool amenities. A little history, I guess, about the golf course. Galadia was, in the mid-90s, Edward Gaylord, former owner of the Oklahoma Publishing Company, selected a parcel of the family's farmland to transform into a grand, old-world-style clubhouse, golf course, and community that would rival any in the Midwest. Now, if you've been to Galadia and you've seen the clubhouse, I mean, I mean it, it speaks for itself. It's massive. And all the houses in there speak for themselves, too, because they're just ginormous. The uh, the award-winning golf course architect, Arthur Hills, designed the golf course. Uh, his natural approach, along with his reputation for being environmentally friendly and his unwavering commitment to excellence, all contributed to the selection for Galadia. Golf course opened in 1998. The Gaylord Learning Center was constructed in 2003 uh, to complement the golf course amenities by allowing indoor golf instruction and short game practice areas. Galadia has a great practice area. I think that not a lot of people know about it because it's at the bottom of the range. Uh, I mean, you see it when you step up onto the range and you kind of hit balls that direction and, and you see the learning center, but behind that learning center, to the left side of the first uh, and left side of, of oh eight is a great wedge game area. Down the hill, it's got, you know, I think it's up to 150 yards. And, it, you know, it's got greens every five to ten yards. It's it's fantastic. It's where a lot of players, and, and if I was a member, I'd be spending a lot of my time. Uh, got a great chipping green up there, massive chipping green, and then yeah. another putting green that's up there too, alongside, you know, the range that, that you can hit out of the learning center if it's cold. Uh, or hot like it's been recently over 100 degrees or you know you can hit off the grass to the side and kind of what we were doing we were warming up out of the way um, obviously we're guests out there so you know we didn't really want to step on the range and get in anybody's way so we drove straight to the back which uh which i actually preferred up there it's really uh it, it's a really really cool scene and, and you know you're hitting back towards the clubhouse um in 2000 the wonder shells wonderful world of golf series was uh featured a match out there Fred Couples and Phil Mickelson played against each other, and Mickelson won the match, but I'm sure you could probably YouTube that one. 2001-2002, uh, Gladia hosted the Senior Tour Championship. Uh, the season-ending competition was a gathering of the finest players on the Champions Tour, formerly known as the Seniors Tour. Bob Gilder was the victor in 2001, and then Tom Watson joining him in the winner's circle in 2002. I didn't know that. That's really cool. I guess some Seniors Tour events out there, and I mean, Tom Watson's been to your place. It can't be that bad. But uh, the golf course, I think, personally, it's not one of my favorites. I think it's very kind of resort-ish, uh, kind of wide fairways, picturesque bunkers and water or whatever. But when the wind gets up, you know, they can tighten the fairways and, and speed the greens up. And, and competition level of this golf course, it's quite a tough track. I played a lot of uh, college tournaments out there and some other stuff as well. But the golf course has gone through some, some ownership changes and, and all the rest of it, which... Honestly, you can read about it. Not really, I don't really care too much about all that stuff, but you know, we're just here to, to play golf and have a good time. So, you know, we tee off at seven o'clock, so the green's are a little rough and, and obviously hadn't been cut all day. Uh, so a little bit slow, but golf course in phenomenal shape. I uh, love the back nine. I actually prefer the back nine more to the front nine. Ten's a great hole. Uh, yep. It can be a par five, which I mean, yeah. Ten's a great hole. Eleven, you can go for it or lay up, which I've been playing, playing around with Four, four boys, you, we're all going to go for it. Um, 12's good. 13's great par 3. It wasn't a lot of wind out there today. So we kind of just, you know, there's no defense really to the golf course when there's no wind. Um, so 13 was decent. 14, great par 5 over the corner. Um, kind of got there in 2 with an iron, so it wasn't too bad. Uh, 15, again, another great par 3 where Tim had a little swim in the water. Heath played his second or third off the rocks, I think. Um, you know, and then and 16 off the back tee over the corner, you, you know, to hit drive over the corner, you, you kind of got to take a bit of a line, uh, which we did. Uh, I managed to get one in the fairway there. Uh, 17 short par four can catch you out a little bit, but um, no, I think all, overall great, great golf course. 18 with a, 18's hilarious. If you see in the video, Heath almost took my iPhone out when I was videoing us teeing off 18. Uh, one of the, probably the best finishing holes 
uh, I'd say, in the area, uh, or very underrated. You know, it's quite a tough drive. You got water down the right, uh, creeks and water down the right. You got trees and 17 down the left, and that's not really a bailout. Thick trees down the left, and then you step over your second shot if you've got a chance to get to the green. And and today's pin was tucked front left, and you you know you you kind of bail out your your safe shot is trying to hit it in the front left bunker. But if you go for it, you've got to fly it all that way, and you're landing onto a downhill slope on the green, so everything runs away from you. Two tiered green, you know, it, it's not an easy shot. Uh, great finishing hole, especially you know if you've got some pressure on you. It's really, really good, uh, good way to finish and, and good test in golf. You know, as as you can see from the video, um, you know, we, we had a lot of fun out there. This is uh, this is a kind of a small look into me going out and playing with my mates. This was not really a full a personal course review. This is going out, having a good time, having a little match with the boys and. And trying to hit it as far as possible as you can tell by some of the tee shots we were hitting we weren't holding back uh, so it was nice to get out nice to play golf on a on a sunny afternoon and and really enjoy the golf course so thanks for tim for inviting us out and yeah please follow uh at this is oklahoma golf uh, next week we will be at the patriot in owasso so stay tuned for that thanks so much